Welcome to Intercotton Wednesdays where I'm trying to make this crazy machine over here play music so we can go on a world tour with my band Vintergotan and play live with the Marble Machine X on stage. Before this dream can come true, I have a lot to do and this week I'm gonna set myself a challenge. Complete as many items on this to-do list as possible. Let's start with cleaning the MMX. cleansing and I don't know if it comes across over the screen but the Marble Machine X feels very happy it feels more like a sculpture now than a pile of junk like it did before done with the first task this is the demagnetizer wheel and this is the previous solution where one marble lane became four to slow down the marbles as they passed over the demagnetization surface I'm going to simplify this these temporary things has been taken off World's first trombone demagnetizer. <laughs> Very successful first test. Let's try if it actually have demagnetized these marbles. I'm going to take two new marbles and I'm gonna re-magnetize them like this. To the left here is the demagnetized marbles. And these are the marbles that I magnetized. And if I try to drag one of them slowly, can you see that the other marble is following? Now if we go over to these, I did this rolling test where you roll and see if they cling together. Did you see how they clung together and how they separate? This is a very crude test, but it's clearly less magnetism in the demagnetized marbles. So thumbs up for the demagnetizer. I have spotted two issues I want to fix. Can you see that this marble is a little higher than the others? Which means it has too much space height-wise, which means that the pushing of the marbles into the demagnetizer loses energy by pushing a marble right here up into the ceiling instead of forward. The second issue is happening right here, see if you can spot it. Look at that, the magnet comes up. I have to glue the magnets down. One done, I have to do them all. Second test, magnets are glued and this is corrected. So let's see how the marble behaves. No magnets are trying to escape. This section is done. I can now start to work on the connection from this marble pipe into the conveyor belt here. I want to explain something cool about this conveyor belt. When the marbles goes in at the bottom 
and leaves at the top, the conveyor belt is pausing for a second. We're making use of the piston features. Let me explain. These camshafts is rotating with a constant speed. But when this rotating motion is transferred to up and down motion up here, we get a very cool effect because if you think of it, when the piston is on the sides here, it moves fast up and down. Vroom, vroom, vroom. But when it's transferring up here and low here, it doesn't change a lot of height. So if we were making a kind of motion curve of the up and down motion, it would look something like this. And I've designed the conveyor belt to take in and drop off the marbles at these stops. I'm gonna crank the machine again and note now how these rotate and that how these two are making pauses. So now if we look into the marble tray where the marbles goes into the belt, like that, I want these marble shuttles to stay in the perfect height when they're making a pause. I don't want them to stay like this, so the marbles can't go into the belt in the pause. I've made the system adjustable so I can adjust exactly where these shuttles is making a pause. Let me show you. So now we're here on the side of the conveyor belt. There is the ratchets. So at the moment this ratchet up here is the only one that is on. But by opening and closing these screws that I'm pointing at here, I can slide these ratchet positions up and down. And when I have it in the correct position, so my marble shuttles lines up where the marbles goes in and out. I can screw it tight. I have to sync all four to have them aligned. But the cool thing is that thanks to the chain, there's no accumulative error. They will always drop off the conveyor belt at the same exact spot all the time. I've activated both ratchets, let's see how they behave. This one ends up too high. This one is perfect. So you can see, at the pause, the marbles are not falling in. But on the other one it is. I have adjusted all four ratchets. Let's see how this works now. I want to draw your attention to one final nice thing about this design. So the conveyor belt is stopping exactly in this position for every piston stroke where the marbles falls off, land on the back side of the shuttle beneath it, who has tracks on it to keep them in line and then down into the system. Note how the marble shuttles are pausing at the exact correct spot. Listen to the sound of the conveyor belt when it's loading the marbles off. It's a huge noise. I'm going to put a layer of silicone here to reduce that sound. The sound was much better, but the outermost marbles jumped over the edge because the silicon made a strange bounce. So I made this fence here for the outermost marbles. So again, I have to make like a afterthought addition. I think I sold it pretty nicely. Time for the final test of this whole transition. If this works, I'm finished with the whole demagnetizer wheel reparation. This works perfect, job done for now. I'm happy with this. Demagnetizer, ready. Conveyor offloading, bad sound, done. I even gave myself a bonus for fixing the escaping marble top ledge. Done. Broken handle. Let's do this one. These are the programming plate handles and they're held in place by a little magnet tip here. And one has been broken for a long time. And I saved the little tip here, sitting on the machine for like a year or so. And now, glue it back on.
beautiful. Broken handle is fixed, flywheel clutch next. Flywheel of the marching next has a safety clutch. It trips too late. Inside the flywheel we have these set screws and if I push them counterclockwise we reduce the spring tension of the clutch release. Now it should trip earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. Level feet. We're almost perfect. We're a little bit to the left. So I'm gonna raise this side of the feet to move the bubble a little bit to the right. Base marble metric sentinel welding. So here's the cyber base and the base matrix sentinels. That's the mechanism right here that drops the marbles for the base. I forgot to make a weld here. Let's weld this shot. Stable. Have you noticed the colors of the wall looks like we're in 80s discotheque? I didn't bother tampering the colors yet. So when all the lights come from above, the bags under your eyes becomes much worse and I have huge bags under my eyes. I always try to keep light sources low to kind of shine away the bags under my eyes. So this is probably making me look like Frankenstein's monster. Right now you can see straight into the light and that's not the best. So I have barn doors to shield it off. How's the bags under the eyes? Charming! Now we can cross out another item on the to-do list. Another bonus item. I think it's time to attack. Very big thing. Divide by four, capacity plus sound, redesign. So here's the divide by four that divides this marble cube into four channels for the fish there. This is full right now, as you can see. It gets full pretty fast. And this marble cube here, I open it up. But the thing is that marbles can escape. The more marbles we can fit inside this magazine of marbles, the more overflow can we allow for the whole marble count on the Marble Machine X, feeding the instrument channels with more marbles, being able to play faster, longer music. I had this idea to just double the length and put the divider here. So by increasing this capacity all the way here, you will see more the movement here. And most of all, if we move this lane up here, you will have marbles running on top of these manual actuators, which will increase the activity here and more marbles running on top of the machine. It's an opportunity to feed two burns with one scone. <laughs> I stole that from a band chess streamer. You can see the first morning sun rays hitting the marble machine eggs in the front. And another building game is just a I'm going to prolong these pipes by moving this, but before I do that, I want to show you how this sounds now, because I'm also going to make the divide by four more silent. So you can hear quite a lot of sound from the rolling marbles, but also a very sharp sound when the marbles goes into this wall here. I think I can fix that. This redesign is not aesthetical, it's to be able to play better music. But you know what this means? Only one thing. Let's do this. Check, it's a butterfly! Yeah, flew out. We have been blessed. I have a new professional grade mask and a new hairstyle <laughs> so this is industrial rubber coating and it's really really toxic i try holding my breath and be outside 
but it didn't feel good. I only tried the spray before and now I'm gonna try the dip. Try this on the funnel. It does feel like it's easier to build up a layer with this than with a spray. I bent the first pipe and I can see that it's a little bit high and a little bit to the right here. So I need to shim this out and move whew, and move it down for a perfect transition when the fish there is in the smallest step. You can see that it's not adding up perfectly. So I want this down. Cracked. Such an idiot. This spring steel is here, for in the edge case when the marble gets stuck, it comes in the perfect wrong timing, so it gets stuck on this edge here, and it's lifted straight up. If it was the pipe, the pipe would just break right away, we would have crumbles of the pipe. But now, when a marble is catched the wrong way on this edge, it's just put back again, and we have this flexibility here, and nothing breaks. So this was a little bit too much bent, it stopped the marbles altogether. Divide by 4 redesign is completed. Now we're going to look how this looks with the marbles. I already love that you can see this pipe more from the front. And we're gonna have a very cool function that when I know that this pipe is full, that's the exact amount of marbles I need to put in the machine. Let me show you. Keep attention in the conveyor belt intro, the marble will come there, and then takes the first round, and then it will start to fill up the divide by four. And then when this pipe is full, I'm gonna stop putting marbles in. Okay, now it's okay. I put too much. <laughs> How cool is that? How beautiful is this? The divide by four makes this pulse in these pipes. <laughs> Check this now. Now you have this in the front. When you're looking at the machine playing music, you actually have that marble cue up here in your vision. This is also mega cool, like the big divide by four magazine. I think this is more silent now, especially when we can fill up the marbles. This was the old pipe. Don't need it anymore. Okay, finally something that I just love. That is awesome. Make us able to play more music. And like this Willy Wonka pipe up here. It's so beautiful. Look how many cool angles we can film. Like when I mute and unmute, you have the marbles in the background. So, divide by four, finally, woot woot, 
done, done. Communication has been done. Let's cross that out. So now we have only two tick boxes left to do, the Simba lever and the sustain lever. I'm gonna start with the Simba lever, but they are a little bit connected. So this is the Simba lever and this is the Vibraphone sustain lever. Both these levers were connected and placed on the machine, but then I get the ID of the highest rhythm machine. And that has now become totally in the way because this symbol lever should attach to this. So now I need to find a new placement where I can interact with the symbol and connect it down there. When I push this in, I play a note, and when I pull it back, I mute the cymbal. This placement is so much better because it was down here before, and I have to reach the crank over here, so this is so much more spontaneous. I can just... Pen ultimate task is done. Sustain lever. Boom! It's Tuesday and Hannes have told me we can't make a video without me crossing out the last task of this to-do list. Vibraphone sustain lever sits down here and controls these, the sustain pads. So this lever will move up and take the damping off, move down and dampen the vibraphone bars. But there has been some issues with this design and I have figured out a new idea for how to make this very musically functional. So the question is how to make the lever stop exactly on the positions we want to. And I have a new design idea for down here for how to make this lever very very functional. Oh. Ah, that is not so... Ah. <laughs> That was too heavy <laughs> to lift above from my body. So here's the issue. These muting levers are held on this shaft with a friction fit. So there's a set screw that holds on the round shaft. So that's why the vibraphone plate can pivot independently and we can put these independently, which is a nice pipe in pipe design. But this is not holding up and this makes the system very vulnerable. See how this can pivot back and forth? Of course I can tighten that set screw regardless of how hard I do this yeah this is better but this will kind of slide over time so this is not a good mechanical lock so I'm gonna weld on this bar like this connect all of these arms to each other mechanically which will make these into one piece that are held on with 11 set screws The uniformity of how these dampers are behaving is so much better now. So now with this in place, I can tighten all 11 set screws. This is the link that connects here that will transfer the motion from the lever to the actual dampers. I'm going to rebuild this to fit the space better on the machine itself. I was worried to lift this back in place because it was so heavy, but I realized most of the weight sits in these bars. <laughs> So right where I'm pointing with the screwdriver is the bolt that connect the link to the dampers. This is a sliding fit, we don't want that, so I'm going to actually TIG weld this shut. 
so it can never slide. So if you see now, it's welded together, it should never have been bolts. And now we have eliminated another friction fit. So now when we move on to the next step and fix the setting of the lever, we know that this setting will remain as we put it. We can trust this link. The vibraphone lever has been connected. Long sound. Short sound. It's not really useful because I need to hold it in my hand all the time, but I have a cool design to fix it, so it's really useful. Check this out. Pipe, spring, block, magnets, fits into this pocket here. I machined this by hand on the CNC, threaded. I call this the monolith. <laughs> Lid. Let's put them on. And it's ready, check this out. Here's two different modes, sustain pedal mode and set value mode. So this is like a piano. Or if I wanna set a value to play the popcorn song, then I go over here. It never matters when I make disclaimers, but the resonators pipes are not here and the vibraphone is not going to be mic'd with camera mics two meters away, so this sound is worse than it will be later. I always say that, but... <laughs> That's so cool. Honestly, this sound is pretty cool. I'm a little bit disappointed. I can fix this. I can make a Delrin design here instead. And we wouldn't have that scraping metal on metal sound. And then for the set value function. <laughs> That's all! I did it! I did it! Woot woot. <laughs> this has been a fight. <laughs> a wonderful fight. It's Tuesday evening and I made the list and we can show all this for you tomorrow Wednesday. So I want to say a huge thanks to everyone watching and a huge thanks especially to all the patrons and the Wintergat on YouTube channel members that support this project so I can do focused work like this. It means a lot. And before you go, I want to show you something that touched my heart in a big way. Check this out. Marble machine. And if we open it, dear Martin, I hope your wish comes true from Owen. <laughs> when I saw this, I, I was really, really touched. And I have heard that Owen made the star constellation of the marble machine and that these white things are marbles going through the universe. It meant so much to me, Owen, that you told me this. Thank you so much. And um, I want to wish you good luck with everything you do. And remember that you can do more than you think, but you have to work hard. <laughs> and sometimes it takes time. I'm not gonna give up on the Marble Machine X. Owen, thank you for sending this. Thanks for watching. Marble Machine X Wednesdays, as I heard you call these videos. Oh, I almost forgot the most important thing. <laughs> Are you ready? What did Winnie the Pooh say to his manager? 
Show me the honey. Machine feet. Done. Sustain lever. Done. Symbol manual lever. Done. Demagnetizer wheel. Done. Conveyor belt offload. Sound. Done. Flywheel safety clutch setting. Done. Okay, so let's zoom out and check the general. Okay, to make this dream come true, we still have a lot to do. But that was a nice color shift to green. Issue number one marble tracks for the barbophone. That could be a really good contender for next week.